So oftentimes, I'm going to use bring up this um, example because I think it's something that I hear often from young couples or even not young as an age, but couples who are young together trying to build a relationship or a marriage um, if they choose to. But you'll hear the man say, um, you know, I'm not really ready to settle down because mm-hmm. I'm trying to get myself together to, you know, because I want to be able to provide this life, this life that she wants, this life that I know that she's going to want or that she's expressed that she wants. And oftentimes the woman is left feeling confused because for, for us, a lot of the time it's, you know, I, but I don't need you to be all the way there yet before we get married. Like, why do you feel like you have to be all the way established and figured out before we get married? We can work on this together. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, I know from, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say I relate to this directly cause you know, like we've been married for 12 years, been together a lot longer, but just hearing from other women, it feels like an excuse hmm. to not actually want to settle down and be married. And so what that's from our side, it feels like an excuse. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'd love to know, you know, where you think the men are in that particular well, scenario. In that particular, in, 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 in scenarios like those, especially when it comes to, can I get this ring already type of type of energy? You feel me? Um, I, it, 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 for men, it comes across like, it comes across like this, like, okay, first off, and I said this before, but sometimes in relationships, we deal with the avatar of the person we're talking to and or in a relationship with. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Meaning we're not necessarily dealing with them as a as an individual person. Mm-hmm. We're dealing with them as the thing we think they are in our heads. Mm-hmm. And so we're interacting with that more than we're interacting with you personally. I see. Okay. Okay. So, okay. so let's just break that down a little bit. If I am a man dealing with a woman telling me that, oh, well, we can just work out the money thing together, then I go back in my mental resources and I look at all the other women in my life who are willing to work it out together financially. And then you realize there's not too many of them. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Okay. So then what he has to do is kind of work past that in and of himself to then kind of deal with you, his partner on a level that is commensurate with that, with that situation. Mm -hmm. But while also hearing all the other men who are trying to do that too and failing miserably. (laughs) Okay. Whether they themselves are failing miserably, meaning they just can't get the job done or, or, Dealing with women who was like, yeah, well, I've had my, I've had enough. I'm, I'm out because dude over there can provide now and I got to wait on you. Mm -hmm. That also Mm -hmm. happens, you know what I'm saying? But either way, he's now in the position to have to make that move and have to put up or shut up. And a lot of men aren't going to make that kind of put up or shut up move just because you want it. Because at the end of the day, when you don't want it anymore, I'm going to still have to to, mm. to cough up whatever that looks like. I and see. what does that look like? In a situation in America where we're at 50 or 60% divorce rates, we're also at 80% of the divorces being initiated by the woman. Which means that if I can't provide... There is an eighty percent chance that this woman's gonna leave me by statistics, by the numbers. That is a very, very hard thing for a man to ignore because mm-hmm. men are cost benefit analysis calculators. That is that is a that is a tr- that is a hill. And it's a hill that I think is worth it as long as you have the right person with you. But boy, that's why a lot of men kind of 
recoil at the consideration of marriage, especially when we've known each other for six months and you're already talking about wedding dresses and rings and stuff. It's like, (laughs) okay, so you just too pressed to be in a situation to be married, which means that when stuff gets hard, you're going to be the first one to go, I don't like this no more and leave. 80% 80% of the time. That's scary. That just makes a man go, I don't know, man. I, <laughs> I don't know about that one. I think I hear you. I think from the woman's side, though, you know, we've known what we wanted for so long. Um, and, you know, he'll be the first to tell you. I'm And anyone that I've talked to that's getting married, I always tell them, the wedding day is six hours of your life. Facts. The marriage is forever. If you're planning to be married to this person forever, it is forever. Read this book. Go do these things. Anybody, even all my, you can ask all my coworkers. I always tell them this because I think your wedding is beautiful, but the marriage is what you're focused on. So I'm not trying to, the discussion is more, Hey, this is how we're hearing it. This is how yes. we think about it. This is how the men thinking about it. This is how they think about it. So right. let me clear that up by saying, but for a lot of the women, we know what we want. We've known what we wanted for a long time. Mm-hmm. And so when we get into a relationship with you after being with Joe, Tom and you know, whoever, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, okay, well, This seems like it's working out. We've been jiving for a while. but So for you, it seems like it's been six months. Um, But for us, this has been years and years of really trying to find that person, our person. So, you know, again, not to negate it, but that's on the other side. That's how it is. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I, I, and, and I understand that. And, and the thing is for men, it just doesn't work out that way. Yeah. Like we're not spending our childhood thinking about the one that we're going to, we're not going to, we're not doing this. Ooh. There's, <laughs> there's nothing about this. That's not, that doesn't happen. However, right. we do get similar feelings. They just come along way later. Right. Right. For us, it, it happens. A lot of men that I talk to happens. It, it happens after 35. After 35, then they're like, ooh, I need to be, uh, I want to lock something down. This is, even even the cats that got money, life life without somebody to share it with is not, yeah, that duh, type of type of energy. But at the same time, for us, it just happens way later. Mm. Okay. 